In March 2010, tens of thousands of Americans opposed to the health care reform bill and the Obama agenda in general with only a three-day notice converged on Washington, D.C. for an emergency show of strong but peaceful opposition as the final vote loomed. That fateful day, stunned leftist politicians looked out over the massive last-minute crowd of patriots and responded in the only way they knew how, to slander. They cleverly sent a group of black politicians to parade through the crowd with cameras hoping to lure some protesters into racist and hateful actions. Unfortunately for them, they were unable to document any such event. So they, in spite of all evidence to the contrary, insisted that racist and sick behavior was perpetrated that day. This was a deceptive distraction. They were, and still are, cynically manipulating the media and liberal voters with the oldest political tool, fear. Now, months later, this lie is the basis for the NAACP to publicly slander the Tea Party movement as racist. So why are the leftists so intent on distracting the people's attention away from what happened that weekend? We were there for the entire two-day event, and we know why. You've heard ad infinitum about the spitting and n-word fabricated sideshow. Now take a few minutes to see the main attraction, what the leftists do not want you to see. We drove all night, non-stop, from Chicago, 13 hours. We answered his call. I see a lot of beautiful faces out there and a lot of beautiful signs, but these three young kids from Chicago say it all. Give it up for them. We are concerned that our government is shifting towards the legislation of and the implementation of ideologies and social structures counterintuitive to the principles of liberty and freedom. This nation was founded on a lot less than this health care bill. It was founded on hardly, what, 25 cents on a kilogram of tea. The Declaration of Independence makes it clear. The government is instituted by your consent to secure life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The federal government should be limited. God bless America. But Lord, we thank you. We thank you because you are giving some semblance of sense to some of these individuals that we've put to lead us in citizen leadership. However, Lord, we are cognizant of the fact and mindful of the fact that there are so, some dissenters here, Lord, in this house. And just like the walls of Jericho, they will tumble down, Lord. So we thank you, Lord, today. We thank you when we magnify your name, Lord, because our health care is something that you gave us and no man can take it away from us. We thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. sounding brass or clanging cymbal. Amen. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all the mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have faith so that I could remove mountains but have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned but have not love, it profits me nothing. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. It is not puffed up. This America, where our parents struggled to put food on the table and shoes on our feet, where they taught us that studying and learning and working created the biggest opportunities of all. This America where dreams come true because we have the freedom and opportunity to make them come true. Yes, this America, this nation where from many are one. But if we truly want one nation, 
We must stand for principles that promote this one nation. Yes. yes. You cannot have one nation if we, your leaders, say one thing and do another. No, you can't. Yeah. 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 You, can. you cannot have one America where people are always seeking to divide. No, you Fine. can't. You cannot have one America where we divide our nation by those we deem worthy of life and those who are not. Yeah. 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 We cannot have one America where spewing, while spewing messages of hatred against another. Say it. You cannot have one America if we simply replace one prejudice with another. Yes. You cannot have one America while abdicating our responsibility to act together as a nation. You cannot have one America unless that America is one nation under God. The America that values patriotism, that yes. respects our Constitution, yes. that yes. believes in the freedom of religion, yes. that honors our fallen, yes. that prayer makes us strong because it is through prayer that God gives us strength, yes. that believes that a government which is able to separate church from state does not mean a government which eliminates faith or That's separates right. faith. gather strength from our faith to listen, to communicate, to work together, to share our sweat and our tears and our toils for the good of our families, our nation, and in reverence to our God. This is my America. This is your America. This is our America. One America. nation. Our under one God. nation under God. Yeah. Our one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty, liberty and justice for all.